The Ravens, the Northern Knights, the girls doing battle in Plainsboro Friday. Sarah Modoseski with the ball here, finding her way around everything, takes it right to the hole. Another strong night for the sophomore. Knights with a third quarter, trying to climb back from a seven-point halftime deficit. Jasmine Watson from behind the arc, she hits that. Later, Kate Herbert, looking to inbound it, keep the scoring going, finds Modoseski. She dishes it quickly to Courtney Carrick-Josie, who grabs her own miss and makes it on try number two. Very nice play. Courtney Allen, number two of Robbinsville, had another outstanding game. Here, she gets rejected right to the ref. No big deal. That means Arville got the ball back. Modoseski out to Herbert for three. Kate's on the money. But as time went on in the second half, the tides really started to turn in the Knights' favor. This seemed to be the turning point. Modoseski coming away with it. It is knocked away, then commandeered by Taylor Stripe. She connects with Watson, who sends it right back. Stripe puts it up, and it goes right in. North would take the lead late and keep building on it. Watson, Stripe, and also Kate Loresh, 21 of the Knights, were able to get the job done. The final Friday, 47-37. Down in Robbinsville, the Ravens' nest on hand to push behind the boys after their huge win over Steiner. Matt DeAngelis maintaining possession, connects with Lucas Olszewski, who banks it off the glass. Second half, Northern Knights on the move. Kevin Murphy to Winston Delk. He drives in, puts it up and in. The Ravens' Tino Gonzalez here, driving across midcourt, all the way to the paint, splits two defenders and sinks it. North looking to regain the lead. Miles Gordon dishes it to Pat Dioli in downtown. He fires from there and sinks it. Knights up by one. Robbinsville hanging tough. Eric Lorenzo had some huge fourth quarter buckets. Dishes it to Gonzalez, who finds Anthony Linder towering over everyone. That is two. Closing minutes of the game. Still anyone's contest. Tough break here for the Ravens. This pass stolen by Jared Mann. He finds Murphy. Murphy then hooks up with Zioli, and Zioli turns two after the turnover. Two-point game late. Ravens wanting that second straight W. Lorenzo from three-point land. He hits it! One-point Raven lead with just seconds to play. This is how it would end up. The Knights driving. Murphy would attempt to be the hero all on his own, but he couldn't quite hit this. Linder with the clutch rebound. He'd go to the line and make it a three-point final. We just knew we had to lock down on defense and just make sure they didn't get an easy basket. Coach just told us we got to play at the end. Obviously, last game was a Steiner game. Uh, just play the final buzzer, and uh, that's what we did. Came out, luckily got the rebound, and uh, got those free throws in that game. The Ravens are now 3-4. In New Jersey sports, I'm Mark Fontaine.